I think that the public doesn't fully appreciate what they're asking of their first responders. A fatal start to 2019 for first responders. After seven weeks of deaths, a plea from the Hamilton County coroner. You'll recall Coleraine Township Officer Dale Woods. He was killed on January 4th when he was hit by a vehicle at the scene of a car crash. Police are still investigating that. But right now, there are no charges in that case. And just last week, a Clear Creek Township Officer was killed in a crash. A driver who was accused of being under the influence hit Jared Lee head on as he was on his way into work. Two other officers died in December. One took his own life and another died shortly after retiring. The latest death is Claremont County Detective Bill Brewer. The accused killer ambushed Brewer and Lieutenant Nick DeRose uh, Saturday night after threatening to commit suicide during an hours long standoff. This incident marks the fifth officer fatality. Nine on your sides, Kate Flexter reports. The months of December and January were tragic ones for local law enforcement. Today, the Hamilton County coroner took a moment to pay her respects and call for change. Police and bystanders stood in salute as the body of Detective Bill Brewer was transported from the coroner's office to a funeral home Sunday. The 20-year veteran of the Claremont County Sheriff's Office was killed in a 12-hour standoff this weekend. It's a sight that's become far too common in recent months. There have been too many. Today, Hamilton County Coroner Dr. Lakshmi Samarco commended Brewer for his service. It's a tremendous sacrifice to keep us all safe. Samarco confirmed Brewer died from a gunshot wound below his bulletproof jacket. It's the fifth officer fatality in what's been a tough two months for law enforcement. I think that the public doesn't fully appreciate what they're asking of their first responders. The first death happened in mid-December when retired Harrison police officer Scott Jenkins passed away suddenly. Just days later, Cincinnati police officer Arthur Schultz took his own life while on duty. Then in early January, Colerain police officer Dale Woods was struck and killed by a driver while in the middle of a traffic stop. Weeks later, Clear Creek Township officer Jared Lee was killed in a crash while off duty. I give condolences to both families, blood and blue, uh, because this is really difficult. Gene Ferrara, who spent five decades in law enforcement, spoke about the dangers of the job. You don't spend every day worrying and thinking, oh my God, I could die today. But you know it's there. Dr. Samarco also took a moment to drive home a national need to focus on mental health. Reporting in Cincinnati, Kate Flexter, 9 on your side.